The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So I'm going to solve uh, problem number five in exercise set number three. And in this particular problem, it says, given the function f of x is equal to uh, x minus 1 divided by x plus 1, write expressions for the following as rational functions in lowest terms. And we have four different parts, a, b, c, and d, and we're going to work through uh, each part, uh, beginning with part a. And in part a, they give us, um, they want us to um, uh, write the expression for f of x squared. And what they mean is, um, basically, we need to substitute in x squared uh, for every place that we see x in the given function. And so if the given function is f of x is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 1, then f of x squared, we're going to substitute in x squared for everywhere we see x. So that's going to be x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 1. And we see that um, for this particular expression, uh, we're supposed to write it uh, as a rational function in the lowest terms, and we see that we cannot um, we cannot simplify this expression any any further. So, uh, indeed, this is the uh, solution. Okay. So, part B, they ask for write an expression for f of two a plus one. Okay. So just like we did in part A, where we substituted an x squared, in this particular, uh, in part B, we're going to substitute in 2a plus 1 uh, in every place that we see x in the given function. So that's going to work out to be 2a plus 1 minus 1 over 2a plus 1 plus 1. And we can simplify this expression by uh, eliminating the uh, parentheses and we can say that's 2a you have a plus 1 and negative 1 they cancel out so you're just left with 2a in the numerator and you have a 2a plus 1 and a plus 1 equals plus 2 so you're left with 2a plus 2 on the denominator and we see that we have a common term a common factor of 2 in the denominator, we could factor that out. So we're left with 2a over 2 times the quantity a plus 1. And we see that we can cancel out the 2s. So we're left with a over a plus 1. Now, um, we can Look at part C. Part C says to find f of 2 plus h uh, minus f of 2. And this time, um, we're actually going to perform the subtraction operation um, to, in order to get the uh, expression that they're asking for. But we're going to approach it the same way. We're going to substitute in 2 plus h for everywhere we see x in the given function. And then we're going to subtract f of 2 by substituting 2 uh, for x everywhere in the given function. And so if we know that f of 2 plus h is going to be 2 plus h minus 1 over 2 plus h plus 1, okay? And we know that uh, f of 2 is going to be 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 1. We can simplify this by saying 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. So f of 2 really is just um, 1 over 3. Okay. So now we just want to subtract uh, f of 2 from f of 2 plus h. So we can say that uh, 2 plus h minus 1 over 2 plus h plus 1 subtract f of 2 which is 
one third. Okay. Now we need to basically, in order to simplify, we need to get a common denominator for these two fractions. And we can simply do that by multiplying the three to this numerator and multiplying the two plus eight plus one to that numerator. And so we get three multiplied by two plus h minus one. And that's gonna be subtracting one times two plus h plus one. And then the denominator would just be three times two plus h plus one. Okay? And we can now distribute the three throughout this quantity so that such that we'll get 6 plus 3h minus 3. And we're going to distribute the negative sign throughout this quantity. So we'll get minus 2 minus h minus 1. And we'll have the same denominator 3 times 2 plus h plus 1. Um, so we can look at the numerator to see if we can simplify it, if we have any common terms. We'll have a positive 3h and a negative h. That just works out to be 2h. So we have a 2h in the numerator. Uh, we have a positive 6, minus 3, minus 2. So that's a, this is minus 5. So we're still left with minus 1 or positive 1. And we have a negative 1 here. So actually, we have a positive 6 and a negative 6. So all these uh, cancel out. So we're just left with 2h on the numerator. And on the denominator, we can uh, distribute the uh, 3 through so that we have uh, 6 plus 3h plus 3. And we can simplify the denominator by combining the numbers. So we have 3h. Um, plus 9 and uh, and basically we can leave it in this form here for the simplest terms and that would be our solution okay so this is part C that's the solution for part C. All right, now we got one last uh, part to do, and that's part D. And in part D, we have f of A plus H minus f of A divided by h, okay? And so we know that f of a plus h, all we need to do is substitute in a plus h uh, for where we see x in, this, in the given function. So we'll have a plus h minus 1 over a plus h plus 1. And um, f of a is going to be a minus 1 over a plus 1. That's simply substituting a for x in the given function. So that um, f of a plus h is going to be a plus h uh, minus 1, OK, over a plus h plus 1, okay, and then we're going to subtract f of a, but f of a is just a minus 1 over a plus 1, and that is divided by h. <clears throat> and so now we can um, simplify, we, we, we need to simplify this, uh, this fraction. And again, 
we're going to do that by getting a common denominator uh, for the denominator that's in the numerator. It's kind of confusing, but basically we're trying to get a common denominator here, okay? And all we're going to do to do that is multiply this, this the part of the denominator, in the numerator, and we're going to multiply this denominator to that numerator, okay? And so to do that, we're left, we're going to have a plus 1 multiplied by a plus h minus 1. And that's going to subtract uh, a minus 1 multiplied by a plus h plus 1. Okay? And then the denominator is going to be um, a plus h plus 1 multiplied by a plus 1. And remember, we're still left with this denominator. It's everything is all over h. Okay. So, um, what we we need to do now is first expand out, and then we could simplify. So, let's see. If we distribute, if we multiply this quantity by this quantity, we'll get, um, I'll probably have more room over here. So we'll get, multiplying the a through, we'll get a squared plus a h minus a plus a plus h minus 1. Okay? And so that is simply Okay? That's simply this part. Now let's do this part. So these two quantities. So we'll again we'll multiply the a through and then the negative 1. So we'll get an a squared multiplied or a squared um, plus a h plus a minus a uh, minus h minus 1. Okay, and that's going to be that part there. All right, so if we want to now, let's see if we can simplify this part. So we have an a squared, so you can't simplify that. So we have an a squared. We have a plus a h. We have a minus a and a plus a, so these two cancel out. We have a plus h minus 1. So this is our new red term. Can we simplify the blue term? Yes, we can. We're left with an a squared plus a h. Again, the a's cancel out, minus h, minus 1. So this is our new blue term. OK, now, if we want to now all we're going to do is rewrite it so that we have our expression so that we're going to take the red term which is a squared plus a h plus h minus 1 and we're subtracting the blue term so that's going to be minus a squared 
plus a h minus h minus 1. And then the denominator, we're left with a plus h plus 1 over a plus 1. Okay? And that's going to be all over h. Okay, so... see if we can uh, distribute this uh, negative sign throughout this part of the quantity so that we're left with a squared plus a h plus h minus 1 minus a squared minus a h plus h plus 1 and uh, Let's go ahead and expand out this part of the denominator. So we'll have an a, we'll multiply the a through, and then we'll multiply the one. So we're left with uh, a squared plus a h plus a. Now we're gonna multiply the one through, so we'll get it another a, so plus a plus h plus one. And this is a. And then that's all gonna be divided by h. And in the numerator, we can now simplify. We have a positive a squared, a negative a squared, they cancel out. A positive a h and a negative a h, that cancels out. We have a positive h and a positive h, so that's going to be a 2h. And we have a minus one and a plus one, those cancel out. So we're left with just two h on the numerator. On the denominator, we're left with uh, a squared plus a h plus a plus a will give us a two a. plus h plus 1. And we can divide that by h. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.